Hey VIPs, happy Wednesday. As promised, I want to come live for What's New Wednesday. Watch for these on Wednesdays, um, as many as I can get to. I'll do What's New and What's Notable Wednesdays live here on this Facebook group and or um, Friday features. So um, on this Friday, I wanted to show off Halloween books as we think forward to Halloween, which will be here before we know it. So watch for that in the next couple of days. Um, but today I, um, I'm going to be showing off some a smattering of new titles. I just grabbed some of what I have, a um, couple of requests, and I'm going to show you what I have. So um, there are a few new additions to our School of Monsters series. Let's see if I could flip this around real quick. There, now it should be showing up the right way. So we have some new School of Monsters books added to the series. These are great beginning readers, um, with rhyming text, short stories, um, really silly stories, really super fun. And there are some comprehension type puzzles in the back, um, new words to learn, things like that, information on how to use the book. There's some fun little activities to go along with what they learned. And then to go along with that, um, they have put out these new corresponding themed in, uh, educational activity books. So we have letters, numbers, shapes, words. And so these are appropriate for ages three to five or maybe even a remediation type of a book for kiddos older than that who need some extra support on these topics. So these are really fun little activities that go along the theme of the School of Monsters series. So go check out the other books in that series. There are many of those. I also want to show off a new series that they have introduced, these Find and Speak Spanish books. So they are board books, heavy pages. There's colors, animals, at home, and numbers. So we have the word representation, the numerical representation, and then we have um, pronunciation in the Spanish word. So we have English and Spanish throughout. So it introduces it, and then they're supposed to go find it over here. Pretty awesome little board book series that has that supports bilingual learners, so English and Spanish. Um, I love the pronunciation guides for those parents who maybe don't have a background in Spanish to help support their kiddos with a new language. And they're written um, and illustrated in such a way that's super simplistic, not too overwhelming. So those are a couple in that series. There's four at this time, and that is a brand new series that they just released. Here's another brand new series. My son has been absolutely eating these up. I showed you guys um, the astronaut one on Friday with our space books. Um, but we also have chef, athlete, firefighter, and vet. And so um, they're great for ages two and up. My son is five for reference. He still really loves these. They have little interactive flaps to go along with the profession. So this is all about being a vet and the things that the vets do. Super simplistic, but super fun and interactive. Kids are gonna love the flaps and exploring the different jobs. So check out the Busy Day series. That's a brand new series. Then we have some new additions to our mixed up or wrong fairy tales. Um, so here is Cinderella and the Seven Dwarfs. And then we also have Red Riding Hood and the Three Billy Goats Gruff. And we have wacky illustrations. Lots of detail, lots to talk about throughout the books. And I don't know about your kids, but my kids love fairy tales and they love seeing the story kind of mixed up, just like the original Nibbles books, if you've seen those. It's super funny and fun to see how um, they've mixed up these tales. And I love that these um, mixed up fairy tales also have kiddos from different ethnicities and backgrounds represented in the illustrations too. So that's the wrong fairy tale series. Check those out, two new additions to that. Micah had wanted to see All About Worries and Fears. I'll show this one off. Also check out All About Diversity, All About Families, All About Friends, All About Feelings. 
I don't think I'm missing any there. So this is a great little reference book about worries and fears and coping mechanisms. And you don't have to go through all of this at once with your child, but if it's a topic that is something that they maybe kind of struggle a little bit with, you could go through different pages, different spreads, um, different days of the week, just to try to get them comfortable and talking about their feelings and um, learning how to cope best with those feelings and recognizing when these things come up and how to deal with those situations. So this is all about worries and fears. Definitely check out the others in the series. As I mentioned, all about friends, all about family. There's all about diversity, all about feelings. I'm not sure if I'm missing any, <laughs> um, but there's a bunch in this series to check out. Okay, um, Casey had mentioned that she wanted to see some books about like um, how things work um, for her five-year-old. Um, like construction. I don't have any that I noticed um, yet, any new titles on construction. So Casey, I can put together a special wish list for you of suggested books for that topic. Um, but I also wanted to show you some books that my son um, loves in the series that he kind of digs into because he has similar interests like building, seeing inside how things work, um, manipulating things. And so um, I wanted to show you guys the Little Helpers Grocery Day Sort and Play. There's also a laundry one um, that comes with like a little envelope of pieces. And so as you go throughout the book, you stick the pieces and you interact with those pieces um, as you go on like a little shopping trip. So this one says, fruits and vegetables piled high. What's on our list today? Two red apples and three green pears. Let's put them on the scale to weigh. And so the kids will go back into the envelope and grab the corresponding pieces, do a little bit of counting, identification, and go throughout the grocery shopping experience. Like I mentioned, there's also a laundry day sort and play in the Little Helper series to check out. Um, also, if your kiddo likes seeing inside things and learning how things work, I recommend our flat book starting with the Peek Inside series. Then we have the Look Inside series for a little bit older. Um, and then we have the See Inside series, which is like our most advanced. Um, so like this is one, how a fire truck works. So as you're going throughout the book, there are flaps to lift and things to talk about related to how the fire truck works specifically. There's a whole series of Peek Inside books. Usually they have one or two flaps per page, so it's not too overwhelming. They get to see the ins and outs of the fire truck in this case. And there's little peek through windows. Um, and so they get to see all of that and then they get to engage with those things with the flaps throughout. So I pulled out fire truck because that one's fairly new and then under the ground which is also like related to how things work under the ground with all these animal habitats and things. So it's an interactive way to learn. And then, like I said, look inside is for a little bit older. And then I also pulled out um, a see inside example. This is probably our most advanced, not to say that five-year-olds like my son and Casey's son couldn't benefit from something like this. I just wouldn't tackle all the information at once. Um, my son and I were reading uh, Look Inside the Body while he was in the bathtub today. And I said to him, like, we're not gonna read every single flap, but we're gonna read a few of the flaps as we go throughout the book. Um, because it can be overwhelming if you try to like go through it all at once. So this is our most advanced um, type of book um, in this series with the flaps. Lots of information to uncover and talk about. Um, this one is See Inside the Microscopic World. So I would recommend with your kiddos, if you're going through a book in this series, um, maybe just working through like one spread at a time, or if you're going through the whole book, maybe a, a flap or two per um, spread, just so it's not too overwhelming, or just kind of let them peruse it on their own if they're independent readers. Um, check out all the books in the Peek Inside, Look Inside, and See Inside series. There are so many great flat books in that um, regard. And then another book series I wanted to show for those kids that like to build and see how things work um, is the Build Your Own Sticker Book series. Aliens is one of the newest ones. My son loves these and he's five and he can do them on his own, which is pretty great. So what you do in these books, there's always like black sections and there's usually a little bit of information um, and some stats. There's a whole series of these. There's dangerous animals and superheroes. 
um, sea creatures, lots of different ones, mythical beasts. So then you grab the corresponding sticker sheet. So this will say um, Zadkel, pages two and three. You can tear this out and then lay it alongside that spread. And then your child will have to peel up the stickers and then find the corresponding pages or um, dark sections to cover up to build the different creatures and things in the sticker book. So this is another great one to give to kiddos that like to build and explore how things work. And then this beast, um, really, really thick hardcover book. Just $18.99 though, so there, it's full of information. It says a curious question for every day of the year. So you can see our contents. We have the different months of the year, so you can kind of pick up where, you know, where it is in the year as you start, or you could really just go pick a question. Um, there are some questions in here. I will say that um, maybe you want to preview prior to reading it, you know, your child for the first time um, and I think that they could no matter what your belief system is I think it's a great conversation starter um, to just have with your kiddo about different beliefs around the world um, based on the topic so let's talk about some examples um, what is the appendix for um, if you're born on February 29th how old are you um, who is the first computer programmer? So there's some illustrations to kind of go along with these two. Uh, why do flowers smell? How does sunscreen work? Um, why is the sea salty? How are identical twins made? Where do babies come from? So as I mentioned, you might want to preview the information on some of these more hot, to hot topic uh, questions um, rather than just giving this to your child, depending on like your family belief system and things like that. So this one is just chocolate information, great little warm ups, especially for like homeschool families. Um, I want to incorporate this starting or start to incorporate this in my own homeschool. Where will all the polar bears go if the ice caps melt? So I know some of the topics are a little controversial. So again, it could be a um, springboard for other conversation. This is when was the big bang. So if that's not your family's belief system, then you could talk about um, how other people believe that. But if that's not something that you want to delve into with your kiddos, then I would just avoid this book. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know some might really appreciate a resource like this in your home. So thanks for watching guys. Um, you can I linked um, all the new titles here in the description of this video. And um, if you saw something that you really loved or a series you loved, drop that comment below. I'd love to hear which books caught your eye this time. And I'd also like to know what books would you like to see uh, featured in next week's um, What's New Wednesday video. And if you're watching um, now and you like live videos on Fridays, I'll be doing like feature Friday live videos um, as, as I can. This Friday, I'm hoping to cover Halloween books as we look ahead to Halloween. Um, great books for gift giving around that time of the year. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And also, I will point out that a whole bunch of new titles dropped today. So I am constantly kind of ordering what's new just so I can show you guys and shelve it on my own bookshelf for my kids or add it to my inventory for my upcoming in-person booth events. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and Casey, I know you had wanted some construction type books. I will get a little wish list together for you specific to that topic. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.